Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogly's Guitar Show. Today, we're getting all mini on you guys. This is a Japan-exclusive run of Telecasters known as the Japan Junior Collection. Now, it's not only Telecasters that they did within this series. They also have mini jazz basses, mini Stratocasters, and even our good friends, the Jazz Masters. But what makes these different from other mini guitars is the fact that they're not like mini-mini. They're only short-scale versions of their larger brethren. And Fender's well known for having short scale guitars like the Jaguar out there. So basically they just turned Telecasters and Jazzmasters and Strats into Jaguar scale lengths. So it's not quite as small as you would expect. However, they did shrink down the body sizes on each of these about 94%. So today we're going to review and demo the Telecaster, but tomorrow we're going to unbox all of these from this series, just because, hey, I thought it'd be fun to document these. But the other cool thing about this Japan limited edition series is the fact that there are so many different colors and options. So for example, for the Telecasters, they start at about 120,000 yen. There's Arctic white, satin shell pink, butterscotch blonde, satin surf green, vintage white, black, Satin Daphne Blue with a Rosewood or Maple fretboard option and three color sunburst. And all the other body styles have similar colors and offerings on them as well, but you can check them out on Fender Japan's website. But I really want to take a second to really talk about these finishes. Did you notice I said satin in front of some of those and not others? You can find gloss and this kind of like eggshell finish. Now, if you think satin is like cheap, nasty, not so nice stuff, it's not a high grade finish, you can still feel the wood grain and everything. That's not the case with these. I call it eggshell for a reason because it feels like a really smooth wall like it doesn't necessarily have a texture like an eggshell wall does but it has that nice smooth feel so it's kind of like a semi-gloss in a roundabout way so it's not cheap bottom of the barrel satin like i was expecting and you also have that on the back side of the neck now this one's a little bit different because it's actually a satin urethane versus a different type of satin so if you're looking for a cool guitar for your kid or you're just not vertically inclined and you've always felt other guitars felt a little bit big on you, or if you just happen to prefer shorter scale instruments, this is a perfect opportunity to get a full scale Fender model at the short scale range. So not only did they shrink the bodies down and decrease our scale length here, Fender Japan's website says they gave these special weight relieving underneath the pick guards. The official language is weight reduction with new body cavity design. So I'm really excited to take this thing apart and see what exactly did they do. But before we do that, the Telecasters actually have the inclusion of a comfort cut back here. Not all Tellys have that. Generally, I prefer them to be a little bit blockier, but that's just me. That could be a great selling feature to someone. So to uncover all the secrets of the Japan Junior Tiny Telly, let's go ahead and throw it on the workbench to take a look at its individual parts and specs. Oh, Fender Japan, you marketing geniuses, you. What they call weight reduction with new body cavity design is actually just <laughs> I, this. It's routed for a humbucker and it has a middle one right there, so you can Nashville Tele style this thing out. But stock from the factory, it's regular. But that's great that they did that because yes, technically that does reduce some of the weight, but it gives you modding potential. So that is awesome. I'm glad I tore this thing apart because otherwise, we would have never known. But anyways, you can see our neck right here, humbucker route. They even have the spacing right here for the humbucker legs. How nice of them. And then this route just goes in here. It looks like they have some shielding paint that they have a tab drilled into there to shield off everything here. And then as far as this route, it just looks like your regular stuff. As far as the stock pickups, the marketing materials called them the Junior Collection Modified Single Coil Tele Pickups. So you got that in the neck. Then here's what your bridge one looks like. That's kind of interesting. I like how they have the vintage cloth wiring around it. A lot of times these made in Japan pickups, they don't sound half bad, despite being on not the highest end guitars. I mean, these are what, in the low to mid $1,000 range. So they're not dirt cheap, but they're not expensive when it comes to like high end Fender products. But that solves that mystery. So let's go ahead and uh, get our readings here, which I get a middle position of 2.9K ohms. So that means we've got about 6.28 in our bridge. And the neck pickup, we've got 5.28. But let's take a look at our bridge here. We have six individual steel saddles on this one, and that all secures to the body using four screws. This is not a top-loading telly, it is strung through the body. 
As far as our control layout, just a regular pilgrim hat, three-way blade switch, master volume, master tone. Doesn't look like we have any push poles or anything fancy like that. And the wiring, it's just pretty basic. Nothing too fancy in here. But it looks like we have 250k pots in here. And a quick look at our switch. These are basswood bodies. I couldn't see it exposed anywhere. But that's what the spec sheet calls them. And then the pick guard on almost every one of these junior collection ones is mint green and multiply. So you got three layers on that one. Now this looks really good on this particular one. I ordered this tally before I realized some were gloss and some were satin. I thought they were just all satin, but it kind of reminded me of the Mongolian Chop Squad Beck signature telecaster. But I've got to say, I've seen the gloss and you'll see those tomorrow, but I really really like the feel of this style satin finish. That is nice. But before we get too far, let's go ahead and take the measurements and compare it to another made in Japan telly. Now these are by no means exact, but it's about 10 and a quarter inches this way. And then about 12 inches at the lower bout. The length of the body is about 15 inches from where the neck heel is. About one and a half inches thick. And then the headstock to about the edge of the nut is almost seven inches. So I hope this helps you gauge how small these have become. And I will warn you, on the Telecasters, it is very shocking how small these things are. But the great thing is the string spacing is supposed to be about the same. But we have 22 narrow tall frets and these were extra shiny direct from the factory. And the rosewood fretboard on this one, sure, I did go ahead and condition it, just because generally on a brand new guitar, that's a good idea, but the Japanese fenders generally take a little bit more time on their rosewood boards and it looks good. But also remember, you can find maple fretboards on these if you prefer that. But hey, get this, I thought this was a nice spec on a guitar like this. Stock from the factory, a bone nut. Let's go ahead and verify our 24 inch scale length. Yep, that's right. So a normal Telecaster is up here at 25 and a half. So it's not that much smaller. My readout's dead, but it looks like about 1.65 inches at the nut width. Probably somewhere around 2.02 by the 12th. First fret neck depth around 0.8. I'd say around 0.92 by the 12th. First fret neck depth over here, 12th fret right here. Fender's marketing materials calls this the modern C-shaped neck profile. And yeah, that's about exactly what it is. It starts off relatively thin right here, but rounded, and then just gets a little bit beefier up here. Not huge by any means. Definitely a modernized neck profile. But now moving on to the face of the headstock, this is also a satin finish. So they didn't do you any like cosmetic favors up here like sometimes Fender does. It reads Fender Telecaster, you have a single basic string tree. And peculiarly enough, this run of Made in Japan guitars kind of borrows some elements from Fender Mexico with the black plastic cap over the truss rod route. And we've got the vintage style poke it down, wrap it around tuners. Moving on to the back side now, you've got your output jack on the side, recessed into the guitar. Strap buttons in your normal locations. Again, we can see our big old comfort carve right here, if you're into that on a Telecaster. And then you have your string through ferrules right here. Nothing too much else to go over back here, except for our four bolt neck. I was really happy to see that there weren't any like uh, neck pocket cracks on these. That's pretty common on fenders, but this finish almost feels like it might be slightly resistant to that. Then we've got our satin urethane finish back here. It's a nice feel. It's not a raw feeling. It's just nice and smooth. Fender can do some really nice satin finishes when they want to. But we've got our walnut skunk stripe running up the back of this particular neck. But this one's made in Japan with a 2022 serial number. Blocking it out to keep the Japanese dealer safe. But there are our vintage style Klusen tuners. All said and done, this one weighs seven pounds, two ounces. Let's go ahead, plug it in, and give it a try. Now that I've got it on a strap, I think you can kind of see how small it is as compared to a regular Telecaster now. So let's go ahead and get some tones out of this thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
tone report i don't know it's like missing a little bit of a base response to it it might come down to these steel saddles i also noticed that these springs are vibrating quite a bit that's really only apparent when you play chords though It's just like a little rattle sound. The high E's a real offender. But if you hold that, it goes away. I suppose an easy fix for that would just be like get some uh, electrical tape and just tape it over across that. The next got a nice solo lead to it. The bridge is spanky. I really like that middle position though. All right, let's go ahead and throw a little bit of dirt on this. Maybe it'll come to life then. Now let me know all about the Japan Junior Collection, especially the Telecaster format. What are my final thoughts on this? Not for me. I generally like full scale instruments. I mean, sure, an inch and a half isn't that much shorter, but when you've played Telecasters before, you're kind of accustomed to some things. But what I was surprised at, this is the first comfort cut telly that I've actually liked because that slightly smaller body just makes it fit right where it needs to be. So that's actually very comfortable and I'm glad that they put that on here. And I love, absolutely adore this style of finish that they have on here. Definitely give one of these a try just for that aspect. Now as far as the verdict on the pickups, yeah, it wasn't for me. I think they could have done a little bit better on these, but then again, you have to remember the price point that these are at in the Japan market. Now to get these to the US, they get kind of expensive with import duties, taxes, fees, all that other good stuff. I think the guitars are more so a novelty or for somebody who has to have the short scale length. But in the grand scheme of things, I think what people will be most excited for are the 30 inch scale length jazz basses. Those are pretty sweet. So this one will be available. You can just message me. It might be on my reverb shop. If it's not there, you can contact me. I might be able to import you another one depending on when you see this video. And hey, don't forget to catch the next unboxing episode where we will unbox every single one from this series to see if those other ones are any better or have anything hidden on them. All right, troglodytes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.